Anyway, so Scott, Mark, Chris, uh, I'm going to tell you about Leroy Brown. You need some background. The background is that my father had a younger brother that died in infancy. And his name was Philip Leroy. And um, I don't know the story behind that one. But anyway, I have an older sister. Mom had two miscarriages and then me. The, uh, and dad insisted on uh, my middle name being Leroy because that one died. This one is. And so, grew up, this 70s happened. Jim Croce wrote his goddamn song. And I did not hear the end of it. Leroy, Leroy, Leroy. I hated it. I hated it. So, in high school, or actually middle, late middle school, high school, my younger brother Scott and Eric played the baseball, the basketball, the football, and stuff like that. And dad would take us to practice, and I would go along. <clears throat> and Scott had a friend named Marvin Ockerman. Okay, and it all came together. Uh, the background is Marvin had an ancestor like a great, great, great uncle named Jasper Hockaday. And there's some stories around it that uh, he's, he's a badass. So Marvin adopted Jasper and all, all of us. Basically, he was the fourth trust. Um, would make jokes. This is right when the Chuck Norris jokes came out. The, uh, we said, we knew Jasper. And there's something that Marvin just said off, off the cuff, like, you know, someone said a Chuck Norris joke, and he made a joke about his great, great uncle, Jasper. So then Marvin became Jasper. That was his um, secret identity. The, so, it's been going on for years. Someone will say something, and someone will say, okay, Chuck Norris joke. Well, anytime Marvin posts stuff, me, Scott, or Eric, well, here's an example I did yesterday. Was here the North Carolina State Fair is a uh, open, and my thing was, and he had posted a picture of the state fair. So Jasper went to the state fair and it became a great fair. So that's the laid out on that. Background is I don't know what I did. It was one of the times that we were going to practice or something like that, and I must have I insulted someone. Which is not, I don't, I don't remember which one because I'm sick. So Scott Nira told Marvin, hey, his name, middle name is Leroy. You can kid him on that. Here. Now here's the end. And I didn't know about this. And then I made a, a, a joke the other day about, it was one of my Jasper jokes. And Jasper equals the Chuck Norris, except Jasper kicked and I made a, a Jasper comment and then Marvin come back and he's like and his faithful sidekick Leroy Brown whoa what I messaged him so Marvin what is Leroy Brown he's like it's you I'm like what do you mean it's me that is my middle name and he told me the story he said I pissed Scott and Eric off so they did that and then what they would do is any time in school, when someone was asking about, oh, the older brother, John, they'd say, oh, you mean Leroy Brown. Four years of high school, and I never heard of him, ever. And I was like, Leroy Brown? You guys were calling me Leroy Brown all during high school? I was like, yeah. I said, I never heard of him. We knew you hated your middle name. So we were respectful and he didn't say it to your face. But behind your back, oh boy, we had some fun. <laughs> I'm like, why? He's like, well, the epitome and what cemented your identity is Leroy Brown is, you know, you were doing little politics things and Senator Morgan's daughter went to high school and you were friends with her. It's like the right stuff came out and you, you know, all the nerds were talking about it and stuff.
the Mercury astronauts. And somehow or another, you got invited. Senator Morgan, U.S. Senator Morgan, invited me. And it turned out it was his daughters had to go to college thing. And they said, yeah, get JT. He's the nerd. He'll love this. To go see John Glenn. It was a money's run for president. So it went. I see John Glenn. And I thought it was be like a dinner where, you know, you sit and I'll get to watch him on stage. Uh-uh. It was. Governor Jim Hunt, U.S. Senator Morgan, the Attorney General, Rufus Edmonston, and John Glenn. We had our own room. We had a green room for him. And I got to sit there and, you know, <clears throat> mingle and stuff, and like, and it was just a, a chance of luck. But then, I also got to sit down with him. I'll tell the John Glenn story later. <laughs> anyway, he said, No, what? He's like, What cemented it was, you are this redneck kid, 17 years old, older brother, Scott here. Right stuff comes out, it's, Oh, wow, this is really good. And then you go and fucking have dinner with him. It's like, not only have dinner, you sat at the table next to him and talked about space. So, that was it. The other thing is, you have an employee who not know what the fuck you're doing and pull something off really, really cool. And then when I ask how you do it, you're like, I don't know. So, basically, I've been Leroy Brown for 40-some years, and I just discovered it. That's the Leroy Brown story. <laughs>